Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about ORMs. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, uh, is it a best practice for software engineers to use ORMs only for write queries and not for read queries? Nope. Uh, not that I know of at the very least, because usually it's really I would say it's actually the reverse uh, if you were to argue for a best practice when it comes to ORMs I would say that there is one but this neither of like this is sort of not in the ballpark that I've ever seen at the very least for any best practices uh, the usual best practice for ORMs is that you use them as a convenience for what I like to say are domain uh, domain entities or anything that is st you can uh, I'm not gonna say that this is always true but you can mentally think of it as the standard boilerplate CRUD application uh, work where maybe you are saving a product to a database maybe you're reading up a product from a database or something like that we're talking very simple operations here it's very usually just the case that you do a simple uh, you, you either write a record to to your database or you're just fetching a record or a list of records usually based on some simple index or something like that these are like the basic CRUD applications that like the day one sort of stuff that you do when you learn about how to work with databases and stuff like that the reason why this is a good uh, I, I, well I'm not saying a best practice is usually because ORMs gives you a lot of like it it saves you time because a lot of these queries are completely boilerplate like if you're gonna write out the queries from scratch you can it's just more error prone uh, it's sort of like in a sense it's sort of like you would ha you were gonna try to write your own web framework or something like that it's so standard and so simple that you're more likely to get it wrong actually than you are to get it right an example is a lot of the favorite exploits for SQL injection is usually found in say PHP not necessarily because they don't have ORMs there but because people do this exact thing like they write the basic query and they, they do the classic thing they just put like the value that was posted from the form right into the query and all of a sudden hey there's a security leak there because they didn't escape it or they forgot to do that and ORMs for example is a nice abstraction that gives you that on top and then there are other things as well in other languages that there's a lot of functionality that you get sort of for free similar to as I said as a web framework however when if we consider that to be the best a best practice use case for ORMs there are situations when you really ideally well I think so at the very least where you should be a little bit more careful because ORMs are sort of designed more or less for that sort of work. It, they can do a lot more, but when it comes to more complicated uh, operations, such as my favorite one is, you're going to generate statistics. That is more difficult. Where, for example, if you're if you're in a relational uh, database doing a lot of joins and like uh, things like looking at multiple tables to calculate something or doing basically you know joining different columns from different tables, etc., etc., you have more complicated operations. As I said, usually it's something where you're going to do like a report or you're going to generate statistics or something like that. These sorts of operations they are usually very heavy. Uh, very expensive to execute and as you can imagine then if like if you were to use an ORM in this situation it's actually you know writing information depending now on how you're gonna do it because once again you could in theory have a situation where all right you're gonna have to do some type of acid thing where you're gonna have to write to multiple tables at the same time or something like that which could also be in theory more complicated but a read can also be more complicated in many cases it might even be more heavy depending on how you do it right so I don't think that there is any, as I know at the very least, ORM best practice related to the writing or reading of information. As I said, it's more about what are like, are you just going to do the basics or are you going to do something like that? Something that is a little bit more computationally heavy or more difficult to execute is a non standard problem. And usually finding statistics or f fetching a whole bunch of different. Uh, 
record information and join from different tables and joining them or if you're in a NoSQL database or something like that where you're going to do a uh, I don't know, a search uh, for certain types of information, if it's a graph database or something like that, or you're going to fetch information for a report, something like that. Uh, these sorts of things, they're almost n always non-standard. It's not something like an ORM. You, you can probably configure an ORM to create yourself an entity that you could in theory you could create like an object and then like you do like column mappings on that with annotations and so forth so it's not like you can't do it it's more about do you have like a report that is always going to be exactly the same well then maybe creating an ORM for that is like the way to go because it never changes it's always the same data something like that uh, but you know, in many cases I've always I've found that these sorts of business insight types of queries and things like that they're usually simpler uh, to just actually write the query out and keep it a little bit looser like you don't need a very strict type system for this sort of stuff you simply collect all the information in some type of batch uh, query you can even like just write out the query SQL file or something like that or whatever you're using right execute it as part of some job and take the payload and send it to like whoever's gonna use it which is like almost your I almost always create some type of job or script for this where you just add or remove columns as needed and then it does the it does the processing the joining or whatever it might be right and I exports like an excel file or something like that and then you can hand that over to whoever needs it uh, rather than going all the way and getting yourself an ORM for that sort of stuff so what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think that there are any it might be I haven't Google for it, but I don't know of any best practices that has the idea that a write should be done through an ORM and a read should not, because uh, usually it's uh, ORMs are usually not really good at like they're very good at the standard stuff and making sure that you don't forget security and things like that. Uh, but it's not the case; like, they're more a convenience tool if that makes sense. But uh, Use, always using a write or for writing and not for reading is sort of it, it's really not something I know any best practices related to because as I said uh, usually the ORM is more meant to deal with simple queries they're m better at that stuff but for more complicated things it's usually simpler for you to actually in my opinion at the very least to write out the query yourself and it's not that common that you have to do that sort of stuff you have to do it in uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna do it sooner or later depending on the p type of products that you work on but for like the basic standard of reading uh, reading and writing an entity to or a record to a database ORMs are perfect there should in my opinion ORMs should usually be the default it's my opinion and handwriting queries is something that you can do if you're dealing with the situation where you have a very complicated query usually like statistics or reports or something like that where people just want a bunch of like numbers or like information or lists of um, pieces of information from many different systems or something like that that's a situation where it might make more sense for you to just write out the query uh, and in instead of using an ORM have a great day